Mike Flanagan confirmed to direct Radical New Exorcist movie, not Believer sequel. Horror fan favorite writer-director Mike Flanagan will helm a new Exorcist movie which will not be a sequel to last year's Believer. The iconic franchise was revived in late 2023 with David Gordon Green's The Exorcist, Believer a legacy sequel and reboot that was meant to kickstart a new franchise in the same vein as his Halloween legacy sequel trilogy. However poor reviews and an underwhelming box office total halted those plans and the sequel The Exorcist, Deceiver was pulled from its planned release date amid major creative overhauls. Now Bloomhouse confirms Flanagan will direct what is being called a radical new take on the Exorcist franchise. Specifics of what that means are currently being kept under wraps but it will not be The Exorcist, Deceiver. As the director of this new iteration of the franchise Flanagan will be returning to the fold at Bloomhouse where he made several of his early horror movies including 2016's Hush and 2013's Oculus. Flanagan said in a statement. The Exorcist is one of the reasons I became a filmmaker and it is an honor to have the chance to try something fresh bold and terrifying within its universe. Reuniting with my friends at Bloom House with whom I've made some of my favorite pieces of work only makes this more exciting. Bloom House reuniting with Flanagan could be very good news for their upcoming Exorcist movies. The filmmaker has already proven his ability to rehabilitate one of their horror franchises when he took on a prequel to Blumhouse's poorly reviewed horror hit Ouija a movie that had a major Rotten Tomatoes splat but nevertheless grossed $103.6 million against a small budget of roughly $5 million. He turned the follow-up into a critical smash that massively outdid the original. Below see how the Rotten Tomatoes scores compare for both movies. Title. RT Critic Score RT Audience Score Ouija, 2014 6% 24% Ouija, Origin of Evil, 2016 83% 57% Although audiences were less warm on Origin of Evil than critics who gave it a certified fresh score Flanagan's take on the material nevertheless earned more than twice the original movie's user score. Since then the filmmaker has taken on more and more beloved source material for his successful horror projects winning over audiences with unlikely features including the Shining sequel Doctor Sleep and the Netflix miniseries The Haunting of Hill House which adapted the Shirley Jackson novel that was adapted into the 1963 Robert Wise classic The Haunting. Other Mike Flanagan Netflix horrors that succeeded despite legendary source material include The Haunting of Bly Manor, adapting Henry James' The Turn of the Screw, and The Fall of the House of Usher, loosely adapting the Poe story. With this proven track record of handling classic horror properties with care Flanagan may be the perfect filmmaker to tackle The Exorcist. It remains to be seen if audiences respond to the new movie in the same way as some of his previous well-received projects but his name being attached could quite easily help clear any negative reactions stirred up by Believer. Source, THR. The Exorcist is a supernatural horror film based on the novel released in 1971 and was directed by William Friedkin. When a young girl is passed by a powerful demon two Catholic priests are brought to her home to attempt an exorcism to expunge the demon. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. While the greatest martial arts stars were all excellent fighters they also practiced various disciplines and were quite different from each other. Denzel Washington's upcoming movie may fall victim to a career trend that has seen three of the star's earlier outings underperform at the box office. Colin Creevy was important in the Harry Potter books but he never returned to the film series following his only appearance in Chamber of Secrets. The Little Mermaid director John Musker has criticisms for Disney's live-action remakes and his great points are concerning for one upcoming release. A 2023 movie with five Oscar nominations and one win in addition to a 96% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes is now a success on streaming. The special editions of the original Star Wars trilogy were divisive upon release yet creator George Lucas has since defended his vision. Understanding Clark Kent's legacy helps to explain why the DCU's first image of James Gunn's Superman is loved by some and derided by others.